Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about romance books I love that everyone else doesn't. I don't want to say everyone hates these books but these books sometimes get a lot of hate or negative connotation to them that I personally love. I love these books. So um, let's just dive right on in. So the first one that I have is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I reread it constantly all the time. This is a sci-fi romance where um, aliens from another planet that are only able to live by putting themselves inside of hosts have now inhabited earth so this is the the book about melanie who is our human woman who has wanderer this alien put inside of her it's a romance with melanie and somebody and then wanda and somebody also um but they have the same body like battling each other in this body but i love this book so much i don't know why people don't like this book i don't get it i don't understand i love this so much i think the world is so cool and just Wanderer herself is so beautiful. I love her as a character. She's one of my favorite characters in like sci-fi books. And I love how Stephanie Meyer like formed this alien species. And I'm like dying over the fact that she still hasn't written a sequel to this. I have been waiting. This book came out in like, I think like 2008 or something. Like it's been forever since we've gotten a sequel. And um, I think she's like hinted that it's, she's trying to write it, but I, I'm like, highly doubting that she will. I don't know. You never know with her because like Midnight Sun came out when she said she'd never come out with Midnight Sun. You know what I mean? So I love this one, but not everyone does for some reason. I do want to mention two Sarah J Mass books that I feel like get a lot of hate, okay? Why y'all hate Tower of Dawn? I don't understand why y'all hate Tower of Dawn. I love this book. This is Kale's story. Um, Just by the way, also, it's Kale instead of Kale. I know a lot of people say Kale, like, like, like the vegetable kale. Um, but no, Sarah J Mass says it's K-all. She basically took the name, she said she took the name Chaos and replaced this with an O, you know? So it's K-all. Just letting y'all know. <laughs> so this is K-all's book. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of him and the other books in the series. Like Queen of Shadows, he can suck it, okay? Um, but his redemption arc in this book and him trying to figure out who he is as a person I loved it. I thought it was beautiful, especially his romance with Irene. Beautiful. The journey he takes in here is such a big feat and I really felt for him and everything that he goes through. And I feel like it is such a missed opportunity if people skip this book. There are people who skip this book. Like I get it. Aelin's not in it. I understand, but you're doing yourself a disservice. Okay. I know everyone's not Kale's like biggest fan but the journey he goes in in this book I feel like is unmatched like it is I think it's so underhyped and then another Sarah J Mass book that I loved that um I get really sad when people hate on it is A Court of Frost and Starlight I think it's so fun like I wasn't expecting a lot going into this maybe that's what people didn't like about it is like they were expecting something really big and grand because it's a Sarah J Mass book in the Akatar series but it's just a little slice of life novella. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a novella reader. I love novellas. So, and also I'll take like anything about these characters that I can get. This is the like book number 3.5 in the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses series about like the gang during, I wanna say like holiday season time. I don't think they call it Christmas cause it's not a fantasy world. Um, but I I love this. I just love getting a little slice of life moment with Feyre and Reese and them just loving each other and seeing all the other characters too. I don't get why people hate on this. Like let it just be a novella. I feel like it it accomplished what it did. It's a little slice of life novella. I don't think Sarah J Mass like, like promoted it any other way. Like it's not gonna be this big, grandiose thing because it's just a little novella it's just a little novella this next one it kind of hurts my heart a little bit when I see that people don't like this book but like I understand okay this is Radiance by Grace Draven fantasy romance book it's friends to lovers these two get married they're from different like people species he's a Kai she's a human woman they get put in an arranged marriage to align their families and it's their friends to lovers romance while they're married I think it's absolutely stunning I love this book but I understand why people don't this book is very character driven and I know a lot of my fantasy romance readers out there 
they are not really there for character driven books, which to each their own. I totally understand. I totally get it. But I loved this. <laughs> I love character driven stories. I love reading about characters. Maybe that's why I love Tower of Dawn so much is because you really get to dive deep into a character, a specific character in that book. And I feel like that's what Grace Draven did with Ildico and Brishin. You feel like deep dived into these characters' minds, their brains, like what influences them, what they love, who they care for. Like I love this book so much, but I get why other people don't. I know a lot of people say that you just get to read about them like sitting around eating weird foods and dinner and like read about them just sitting around in a castle, which I get it. I understand. People probably think this book is boring. I however do not. I love it. Next is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. This book came out, let me look at the date. It came out years ago. One second. I gotta find the date on here. 2019. 2019. Okay, this book came out in 2019. I was in college when this book came out and um, everyone was super excited for it. Tessa Bailey book, right? And they were like, oh, it's gonna be so hot because Tessa Bailey writes hot stuff. I kept saying like people's reviews saying like, this was just not it. I didn't really like it. I read this book and thought it was so stinking fun. This is an age gap romance where um, the hero is her brother's best friend and he's significantly older than her and they get in a fake dating relationship. And it is really fun. The heroine is actually like a entertainer she's a party clown if you will and the hero is a baseball player that kind of like has the yips which means like he is having a really bad time batting right now and these two get in a fake dating relationship for their own reasons and I think it is so fun and so hot I really really liked this I had another book I don't really understand why other people don't next is A Night to Surrender by Tessa Dare a lot of people have said that this is their least favorite Tessa Dare book which I love all of Tessa Dare's books this one is one of my favorites. I think it is so fun. I feel like it's the epitome of a small town romance in a historical setting. And it's a great job at setting up the rest of the Spindle Cove series. So this one's about Susanna, our heroine on the cover here. And Bramwell is a soldier who has come to Spindle Cove, the heroine's town that she created with her father for mostly like spinstered women or women who want like a break from society um, because that's kind of what Susanna really wanted when she was their age and um anyway Bramwell comes to this small town full of women basically and has been charged to form a militia in this town it is so funny it's so fun there's also great like disability representation the hero was shot in battle and he walks with a limp and uses a mobility aid and the heroine like helps him through his journey of like loving himself again it is I think it's beautiful and like a lot of people say this is like one of their least favorite Tessa Dare books and I could not disagree more. People don't like Ice Planet Barbarians. Okay, I understand. It's it's bizarre. This book is bizarre. I understand. Um, especially this first book. It does get a little bit triggering because there is a trigger warning for SA of another character like on page. That part is not not my thing. I don't know if Ruby Dixon changed it in this new version that is published but I read it as the original and yeah it can get pretty dark at the beginning which is really interesting because that is not the vibe whatsoever for the series as a whole like at all so I do feel like that was out of place uh, because that's not really what this series vibe is like at all they're all like sweet alien creatures um, but the aliens who SA a side character are not the aliens that are heroines um, in this series crash land on they're the aliens that kidnap them from earth so they're bad guys anyway so I know a lot of people don't love this book this series can't really get on board with it they can't really do the blue, big blue alien dudes on a ice planet to each their own I think they're hot I would definitely definitely go to their planet if they existed like give me my own Vectal I want Vectal and um his anatomy next staple series this is the Pucked series by Helena Hunting I do know that a lot of people don't love this hockey romance series. I love it. I think I was first introduced to the series from Brie, my lovely friend Brie from In Love and Words. And um, she just said these were a fun grand old time. And they are, that's what they are. They're a fun grand old hockey romance series. And they're funny. I know like the humor in this book is not everyone's cup of tea, which I completely understand. So I understand why people don't like this is because sometimes the humor is not for everybody. Like in book one, the heroine literally like dresses the hero's thing as like a superhero i was laughing my butt off but i know other people were like what the heck that's so weird so i understand like to each their own everyone has their own opinion and what they find funny so i understand but i really do enjoy the series like book number i think five in this series is one of my favorite books of all time it is so good so i feel like the series is really slept on but i understand why people don't love it. Next is A Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. This is one of the first books by this author duo. 
Um, and I think it's originally Twilight fan fiction, if I'm not mistaken. It has nothing to do with Twilight, nothing whatsoever. But this is a hate to love romance with this CEO boss man and his assistant. They like really hate each other, um, but they also find each other very attractive and they use each other in certain ways. And I think this book is so fun. I personally prefer this series, this book, to their newer works, just because I like like their edgier, grittier writing in this series. I think it's so fun, but I do know a lot of people don't really love this book because it's a little too hot for their taste, which again, I get it, everyone has their taste. Um, but I thought this was just so fun, a really fun book. And the last book that I have to mention is Teach Me by Olivia Dade. I love this one. It's about two teachers who are older than what you would typically see in a romance book. I think they're in their 40s, if I'm not mistaken. And they're two teachers at a high school and it's their romance. At first, they don't really get along because the heroine is mad at the hero because he took her history classes that she loves teaching. He doesn't know that those classes were taken away from her. He was just given these classes, like here, teach these. So they don't really get off on the right foot, but the hero is trying so hard to get in this heroine's good graces because he can see how amazing of a teacher she is, how amazing she is as a woman. And he just like, I want her in my life. She seems like a great woman. And they end up forming this friendship that develops into something more. I think it's a beautiful read. I really love this. I know it's some reviews that I've read. They didn't really love the heroine, which I understand she is very prickly. Sometimes unlikable heroines like that, like I really relate to in some aspects. So I just really like that. And um, I love how this book was about like an older couple. I feel like Olivia Dade really highlights on older couples, older people than you would typically see in a romance book and plus size representation, which fantastic. I thoroughly enjoy this one. Anyway, so you have it. Those are 10 romance books that other people might not like, but I love them. Um, let me know down below if you love any of these books as well. Please keep your comments nice down below. I understand if people don't like a certain book, but like, let's try to keep the comments nice, please. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me, let's see, an eyeball, the eyeball emoji or any eyeball emoji in the comment section down below. I was looking at the host down below with the, with the eye. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye all.